Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Katie Moore, weekend anchor with WWL TV Channel 4 in New Orleans. But during the legislative session at the state capitol and pretty much my yeah, entire life, I've been known as Aaron's little sister. I've been asked to provide some historical information about Aaron and help present this award video. Has she ever provided historical information about me or helped present me with an award video? Well, let's not go there. After all, this is supposed to be about Aaron, just like everything in life is about Aaron. Okie dokie, let's see why her boss, John Crane, the president of Southeastern Louisiana University, believes Aaron deserves an award for innovation. Aaron's innovation tends to be very functional, very effective, uh, and, and very practical, and, and frequently not cost a lot of money, which is also uh, a good thing these days. The Roar Network is a, is a very good example of an innovation uh, that was Erin's idea and that she, uh, she really picked up the ball and ran with that. It's really created a communication vehicle uh, that's very efficient and very effective at reaching uh, out into the community and uh, uh, calling on community members, supporters, alumni and friends of the university to advocate on behalf of, of uh, the institution. Well, Erin has been perfect since the day she was born, so it comes as absolutely no surprise that she's garnered yet another award. In preparation for this award presentation, we contacted her kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Winsheimer, who taught at Salzburg Elementary in Salzburg, Pennsylvania, and big, big surprise. The letter reads, of course I remember Erin. She was a perfect student. That said, let's hear from one of those legislators that Erin has fooled. She represents the issues of Southeastern pretty well, and I, I feel comfortable whether I'm standing on the side of the session uh, on the rail and talking with Erin about an issue or I'm sitting down having a cup of coffee with her. Uh, either way is comfortable for me, and I think probably most legislators feel that way. I think that's what makes her effective at what she does. Erin was valedictorian of our high school, but was she satisfied? No. She had to continue it all in college, where she graduated magna cum laude, winning outstanding mass comm student twice. She was also her sorority's pledge class president and was inducted into every honor society known to man, and so forth. It's pretty sickening, isn't it? Well, um, to this day, she continues to start and lead clubs and organizations, staging big events. So. Let's hear from some of Erin's current groupies. Yeah, I think one of her direct impacts is our legislative hobnob that we have each year uh, that the Governmental Chamber, uh, Affairs Committee uh, comes together and plans. And, and she brings our committee together. We agree upon our, our strategies as we prepare our legislative delegation. I think it's critical to prepare our delegation for the issues that are real, um, that are impacting higher ed in general. And, uh, and so resulting from that is you see legislation that has policy impacts that are long term. Erin was a major part of developing Southern Nights, which was an event held for legislators and statewide elected officials on the lawn of the governor's mansion. And we changed Southern Nights to North Shore Focus, Erin's brainchild. The logo is her brainchild. The new name is her brainchild and our volunteer participants and those that want to use that event to draw attention to the North Shore were very grateful for her creativity in lending the credibility that was needed to this event. It lets our legislators know that, you know, it's not just you coming to us, it's us coming to you to also let, let them know that, you know, we are a part of the community. We are very involved with what's going on in Baton Rouge and that we want you to hear our voice as well. I think it was last year Ms. Erin Moore Kowser came to us at the Student Government Association asked that we take on the initiative of educating the students on the budget cuts. And so we met and we discussed that would be a great way to bring in state legislators to educate the students on exactly what was going on with the budget and why these cuts were happening. And it was a great forum. Ms. Erin helped us guide us through it, led us there, helped us with the script because she put on so many numerous events like that, of that nature before dealing with the state lawmakers. And um, she just was always there to guide us and counsel us throughout it all. So very thankful for it. Oh, are we on? Oh. After college, Erin sprang forth into the real world. And again, you'd think a girl would slow down just a little bit, maybe cut a little sister a break. But alas, that's not the case with my darling sister Erin. 
She started out as a staff reporter at a daily newspaper and before long became the communications director for the St. Tammany West Chamber of Commerce. From there, she was recruited by then Southeastern Louisiana University President Randy Moffitt to head to Hammond and the rest is history. Let's hear what Dr. Moffitt has to say about his decision to steal Erin. And did I mention she's my older sister from the chamber? I think Erin Moore is very deserving of the Edwin Crawford uh, Award for Innovation. She's a wonderful young lady. I had the uh, opportunity to select her for a position at Southeastern a few years ago, and I can say without a doubt, that's one of the better decisions I've ever made. She's a, a wonderful young woman. She's articulate, she's bright, she's energetic. She understands how to work on the team, and she understands how to deliver good, strong messages for the university. She's been a great advocate for that university, and it's been a pleasure for me to be associated with her. So when Erin found out that she needed a DVD produced for this event, it was suggested that she include photos of herself at legislative events and functions. However, most of the time, she's behind the scenes making things happen. And as such, I've taken this little opportunity to create a digital interpretation of Erin at work. This was a gubernatorial forum back in 2003. Where's Erin? Oh, there she is behind the stage. This is a Senate runoff forum. Where's Erin this time? Oh, there she is behind the ficus on the stage. And what about here where Governor Jindal is talking? There she is off stage behind the camera. Erin is always in the mix whether or not she's in the actual photo op. I think Erin's ego is intact. She is perfectly happy knowing within her own mind that she is the one that made things happen. She doesn't have to be at the podium. She doesn't have to be in the photograph, but she knows at the end of, a, of the day or the end of the event, be it a gubernatorial forum or a graduation ceremony, she's perfectly comfortable knowing that she played a key role in pulling it off. Did you know that Erin even wrote the script for this video, even though she doesn't want anyone to know about it? <laughs> now that we all know that, uh, and the fact that my sister really isn't the devil, only I may think she is just once in a while. I still want to add my own kudos for my sister. Erin, you deserve this award 100%. You are the most wonderful sister a girl could ever have. You give me two beautiful nieces, and even if you are perfect, that hair color is natural even. She even is that blonde. You deserve this award, and you truly are an innovator in education. Congratulations, Erin.